My name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control software tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. In this tutorial, Multi-City and PCC Part 2, multi cine Save Options. We will discuss the various options to save multi cine segments to an external hard drive. For this tutorial, we are going to continue to use the Miro 320S Cam 2 camera. Even though we had all the capture settings defined in the multi cine and PCC Part 1 Partitions tutorial, I am going to make a few changes to the Cine setting parameters for this tutorial. I'm going to reduce the resolution to 768 by 480. Increase the sample rate to 7300 frames per second and adjust the exposure time based on the lighting conditions I have here. And lastly, realign the image range and trigger position to record half the memory as pre-trigger frames and the other half as post-trigger frames. Now I'm going to trigger the camera to record a cine into each of the four partitions just as I did in the multi cine in PCC Part 1 Partitions tutorial. Now that we have a cine stored in each of the partitions, let's talk about options we have to save these files. Just as we did in the reviewing and editing your first cine and the saving your first cine tutorials, we could edit and save the multi cine partition files on an individual basis using the save button. However, it takes time to do it this way. To reduce the workflow process, I can click the Save Cine pull down selection list arrow and choose the Save All RAM Cines to Files option to essentially batch save the multi cine files stored in all partitions. When selected, the Save Cine dialog window opens. Just as I did in the Saving Your First Cine tutorial, I'll need to perform the same steps to save all the RAM Cines, which include the Cine stored in multi cine partitions. The only differences between the process detailed in that tutorial and this are when the save process starts, PCC will display a progress indicator indicating the percentage saved of the Cines being saved, and an indication of which Cine it is out of the number of files to be saved. and PCC appends to the file name, the name of the camera the CINEs were saved from, and the CINE partition it was stored in. The last method I could use to save multiple CINE files is to pick and choose the files I wish to save, not only from a single camera, but multiple cameras in the event CINE files were recorded into their RAM memory buffers or flash memory options, internal, Phantom CINE mag, or Phantom CINE flash. I'll do this by once again opening the Cine Save pull down selection list. However, this time choose the Select and Save Cines from File option. When selected, the Save Multi Cine dialog window opens. At the bottom of the Save Multi Cine window, I can choose to view the Cine stored in all the cameras associated with the selected cameras group by enabling or checking the All Group Cameras option. Notice when I enable this option, only the cameras assigned to this camera's group are displayed in a tab. Each camera displays the cine stored in its RAM if the RAM Cines option is selected, and or the cine stored in its flash memory, internal, Phantom Cine Mag, or Cine Flash, when the Flash Cines option is selected. If the All Cameras option is enabled, it overrides the All Group Cameras option and displays a camera tab for all the network cameras regardless if they are assigned to a group or not. For details on assigning cameras to a group or subgroup, review the User Interface Part 1 tutorial. We will also detail how to do this in the multi-camera control tutorials later in this series. Okay, let's go back to saving multi-cine files. I now need to select the files I wish to save under each camera tab. 
to highlight a single file to save, all I need to do is click it one time. To highlight consecutive files, I'll need to select the first file in the sequence, hold down the shift key, and select the last file in the sequence. All the files in between will be highlighted. To highlight multiple non-consecutive files, I'll need to select the first file to be saved, hold down the control key, and select all subsequent files. All the files I select will then be highlighted. Once all the files have been selected, under each of the camera tabs, I'll click the OK button. Using the process described in the Saving Your First Cine tutorial, I'll enter the save information. The only differences between the process detailed in that tutorial and this are, when the save process starts, PCC will display a progress indicator, indicating the percentage saved of the file being saved, and an indication of which Cine it is out of the number of files to be saved. and PCC appends to the file name the name of the camera the CINEs were saved from and the CINE partition it was stored in. Now that I no longer want to use the partitions or multi-CINE feature I'm going to go back into the camera settings and set the partitions back to 1. I'm also going to disable the Auto Black Reference feature under the Advanced Settings selector. So that concludes the multi city and PCC Partitions tutorials, where we discussed how to define the number of partitions the camera memory buffer will be equally divided into, the various methods used to specify each of the memory partitions capture settings, reuse a specific partition, and save the CINE stored in the partitions. For in-depth Phantom Operations, Vision Research offers Phantom Operations certification training. Please visit our training webpage at www.phantomhighspeed.com Service Support Training. Or contact your local sales representative who can be found on our website under the Contact Us pull-down selection list for more information about our training sessions or for Phantom Cameras in general.